Hey, everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all our content here at SportsMap HOU. McCullers and Garcia are going to be back next year, we think. We don't know when, but we think that at some point they're going to be back next year. You've got six starters right now. Six legitimate guys that when they're good, they should be starting. You add two more. Do you think they go to an eight-man rotation <laughs> when, when McCullers and Garcia come back? Or do you think some of these guys move into the bullpen? I think you have a combination of bullpen and trade. You like to see – who would you like to see traded? Well, I don't know. I just think whoever uh, – you know, I'm a huge Christian Javier fan. Um, they got to get him right. And, obviously, you'd be selling low on a Christian Javier if you tried to trade him with what he's – you know, he's not making an arm and a leg, but he's paid now. He's got a, he's got a paycheck, a decent paycheck, and, and his performance has been just just dreadful. I mean, you can't, you can't envision him being – in the top three of any rotation of no. any offense of any pitching staff of any consequence and so I don't know I don't know what they end up doing I mean on paper it's a good problem to have of course but JP France is making a he's making a strong you know Urquidy could be in a little bit of trouble obviously after the year is over I would say Urquidy probably may not be a uh, may not be an Astro after this year um, they may look to even move him but France, the way he's pitching, France, Hunter Brown's not going anywhere, Fromber's not going, JV's not going. There's four right there, and I got to think Christian Javier is, is, if they get him right, he's great. There's really not a lot of room for Lance McCullers, and it's getting to the point hmm. now, this is so deep in his, in his career that you just can't count on him. I think he would, if he's honest, he would tell you the same thing. When I'm pitching, you can count on me, but can you – Count on him to be one of your top five guys and avoid injury. If you think Montero's expensive at 11 plus, how about McCullers in the bullpen at 17? Yeah, that's. I that's, mean, and you've got Presley who you're paying. Abreu is going to get paid soon. Next year, Stanek, Neris, and Maton are up. I could see them maybe bringing Neris back, but you're going to you would have to pay him. Listen, the the only guys that you're getting on the cheap right now are Brown. And France, okay, and and Urquidy's probably is, is relative going to be relatively cheap, although arbitration. It is uh, th this is an expensive staff right now. You got you got Verlander on the cheap a bit, but you're overpaying for Javier. There's no question about that, and you're overpaying greatly for McCullers. Uh, 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 Garcia is going to be arbitration, and he's not going to make all that much because he's coming off of an injury. But this is pretty, this is getting a little costly. This rotation. it is, and I and I keep seeing this this comment about you just throw whatever you don't like, you just throw in the bullpen, and then people are like, Christian Javier needs to be in the bullpen. He's throwing too many pitches. Christian Javier can't throw strikes. Yeah. The no, who's last, gonna, he you, just got paid this offseason, and he and he's he's worse than ever. Yeah, you cannot put a guy in a bullpen who is letting people on base. Like, that's the quickest way to lose a game is walk, walk, home run. No. And you're done. No. So I, I'm not sure that that's a, the solution is to put him in late leverage situations, a guy who's not throwing strikes, and his strikeout per nine is way down this We year. saw this already. He's called Enoli Paredes, okay? This is exactly what Christian Javier has turned into, a guy who can't find the strike zone, and he's throwing balls that are up here uh, yeah. and, you know, non-competitive. He's throwing non-competitive pitches, and this is what happened to Enoli Paredes. Only you didn't pay Enoli Paredes right. huge money in the offseason. You knew who he was, and you sent him down. Christian Javier was is not what you thought thought he was, and you're right. You can't. Who's going to pick up that contract? Well, but but he's got so much talent that I think I just think they got to make sure he's physically right and that he's being honest with you. And then the pitching coaches have got to get to work and find out what is it that's causing the plane of the ball to be different this year, the velocity to be to be lower because the talent is just immense. So the good thing is. Even if Christian Javier is struggling, you still have the ability to take him out of a lineup or make him a sixth starter and bring Luis Garcia back. I don't even know what to say about Lance McCullers. I mean, I love Lance McCullers when he's healthy, but this is just so crazy now that he's missing years and year and a half and half years and 65% and of, of games. It's just I don't even know where to slot him in in the future of Astros baseball. Is he going to be a factor at some point? Absolutely. 
but do you trust him to make him one of your core five? No. That's tough. And who does he beat out? Yeah, no. And but that's way too expensive for the bullpen. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's, You're I'm paying it it's anyway. Yeah. All right. Good luck with that, uh, Dana Brown. Have fun. 